Good We're backstage you. again, and I'm here with Norm Kelly, counselor for Scarborough and Agent Court here in the city of Toronto, who just presented Drake's album here at Polaris Music Prize. Now, there's quite a story to tell about you and Drake, and I like to think of it, it all happened on Twitter, and that you kind of stepped into a street fight, and uh, all of a sudden there you were telling Philadelphia rapper Meek Mill that he didn't, he was, shouldn't be coming to Toronto if he's dissing Drake, saying he's not doing his own raps. Is that how it started? It did. Uh, it did. Um, Drake, uh, in my eyes, uh, is uh, an important part of Toronto's brand. Uh, we have morphed over the last few decades into a, a cosmopolitan city, an exciting city to live in, uh, full of creative people. Uh, and uh, Drake, uh, has his, his fame has transcended the city and the country. He's an international star, and yet he hasn't forgotten his roots. He's very upfront about being from Toronto. So having a guy like him with his status, with his talent up front uh, and being dissed from, by this guy from Philadelphia a week before Meek was to appear here. Um, you know, it's, we're like... You had to step up. We're like family. You know, I can poke fun at Drake, and I had through a number of tweets, but you can't. So, so I, I entered the fray. And then all hell broke loose, I hear. Oh, it did. Uh, <laughs> you know, you never know what the hell's going to happen until you, you experience it. So and what it's happened? Been, it's been good fun. Well, Meek uh, fired back, and then I fired back to him. And then I got caught up in, uh, in the, uh, the dynamics of the, uh, the hip-hop rap culture. Something well, you're very well-versed well in, I imagine? Well, up till then, no. <laughs> But I'll tell you, one of the things you learn in life is that uh, there are things you don't know, but you can f always find out. And so uh, it's been an opportunity for me to reconnect with young people, uh, and even the young people in my family, my nephews and nieces and great nephews and nieces. So it's just been a ball. So what happened to the number of Twitter followers that you had after this whole explosion? Well, just before that happened, the account had been slowly climbing over time uh, and uh, I was at about 10,000 and within two months and looking at it this morning uh, it's over 150,000 followers. I hear they're calling you daddy now. I know. Well that that came from a, uh, a tweet that I put out saying basically I've noticed that some of you guys when you respond to my tweets call me dad. Why? Well, that just opened the door to an avalanche of tweets that, about that why I'm their dad. So I'm their dad. I've accepted that. Um, Drake has called the city. He's kind of giving it a new name with the six. the six. Do you think that that is going to take off? I mean, are you calling Toronto the six now? I am on a regular basis. And, uh, you know, the, uh, we've got that wonderful sign on Nathan Phillips Square, Toronto. Well, I'm going to see if we can get a couple of more like that, but it would be T-Dot uh, and the six, because these are these are uh, uh, names that are fun, that are youthful, that uh, generate uh, co some controversy, discussion, uh, and uh, anything you can do to promote the Toronto brand, I think, should be attempted by the city. What does an artist like Drake really do with his international stardom? What does he actually do for the city of Toronto? Other than, you know, people know about Toronto, but, but is, there, is there something more than that? Well, you know, uh, I sat on the, uh, the uh, tourism board for a number of years, and they talk about the three M's when you're promoting tourism. Uh, moose, uh, mountains, and mounties. Well, that's not Canada today, and it's certainly not Toronto today. So you want to replace the three M's with, with uh, images like Drake, cool, hip, multicultural, creative, talented. That's Canada in general, I think, and that certainly is Toronto today.
Now, last I checked, Rob Ford still has 50,000 more Twitter followers than you do. Well, I'll just have to catch up to him. I think that we can do this, Canada. We need to get Norm Kelly with more Twitter followers than Rob Ford. Go ahead and do it. Thank you so much for coming here and being part of the Polaris Music it's been Prize. It's a pleasure talking with you. Thank you. Thank you so much.